Welcome to this introduction to PebblePad. I'm Robin Weeks, one of the members of the Glenside Education Innovation Team at UWE. This video is to help you get familiar with PebblePad and understand how you will be using it on your course. It's normal to feel apprehensive using technology that you're not familiar with. However, as with most things, the more you use PebblePad, the more it will become intuitive. If you're the type of person who finds technology daunting, the good news is you don't have to be an IT wizard to use PebblePad. But if you do need help, then there are a range of resources you can tap into, including human support. In this video, we will cover what PebblePad is and how it's used at UE, how to log in, what the asset and resource stores are and how they're used, navigating your workbook, what kind of elements such as text fields and tables you will find in your workbook and how to save your workbook. PebblePad is used in many universities around the world and is described as a student learning journey platform. In other words, students use PebblePad to evidence their learning and development and this can be done in a variety of ways. For your course, we have created a structured workbook for you to complete, but it's worth knowing that PebblePad is used in other ways. Students are able to create portfolios showcasing their work, log their ongoing continuing professional development or CPD, write individual reflections, and even create blogs and web pages within PebblePad. But for the purposes of your course, you will mostly be working with a structured workbook. To log into PebblePad, you will use your UE login details, also called a single sign-on. So there's no need to remember a separate username or password. You can log in via the link in Blackboard on your course or module page. or you can type UE PebblePad into any search engine such as Google. When logging in, select I have an IT account at this organisation, then click Login to PebblePad. You may also need to select UE as the institution. When you log into PebblePad, you will land on the home page. There are a number of blocks within this page, such as Get Creative, and the Learning Centre. However, you will usually only need to go to the Asset or Resource Stores. So what are Assets and Resources? Put simply, Assets refer to any files such as documents, images or videos that you use or upload in PebblePad. So your Asset Store is where all the files you upload are kept. Once you start using your workbook, this will also be kept in your asset store. The resource store is where templates are stored and is where you pick up your workbook for the first time. There are some pre-installed templates available. However, for the purpose of your course, you will only need to collect your workbook from here. Once you have done this, you may not need to go to the resource store again. Whenever you click on your workbook, you will always land on the front page. Your workbook will have a similar feel to a website or an online form, and you can navigate using tabs and contents. The tabs along the top will navigate you to the main sections of your workbook, with the option to click on subsections wherever you see a down arrow. Alternatively, you can jump to specific sections of your workbook using the contents page. To leave your workbook and return to the home page, click on the pebble pad icon on the top left corner of the page. And always remember to save your workbook before you leave. Your workbook will contain a range of elements or fields that you can fill in. For example, 
you will find single and multiple line entries for filling in text. You may also find radio buttons, check boxes and drop down lists in order to select a specific piece of information. You may also find tables within your workbook where you can fill in things such as timesheets, trackers, action plans or SWOT analysis. And you may also find rubrics where you will be able to tick next to a selected statement or competency. One of the main elements within most workbooks is the add evidence button. This will allow you to link an asset such as a file, image or video to your workbook from your asset store. You will notice that some elements have a blue assessor only tab above them. This means only a UE tutor or external assessor can fill in that field through their own PebblePad account. You will not be able to fill in any section marked assessor only. As soon as you start to use your workbook, you should save regularly. You may be used to some systems that automatically save as you type. However, for PebblePad, you will need to click the blue save button at the top left hand corner of the workbook. PebblePad will notify you if you've not saved your workbook for some time, so you will be reminded. Nevertheless, it's important to get into the habit of saving regularly as early as possible. Make sure you save before you leave your workbook and when you've finished using PebblePad, log yourself out of the system completely. Never leave your login open on multiple devices and never close down your page without saving first. You can find more information on how to use PebblePad in a range of resources created by the Glenside Education Innovation Team. In the first instance, please check the PebblePad tab in your Blackboard module or programme page. We also have guidance videos on collecting your work and submitting for assessment, sharing your workbook with an external assessor, uploading evidence and using templates. If you need any technical support, then you will also find your point of contact in the technical help section of your workbook or in the PebblePad tab of your Blackboard page.